Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will show you how to use a new Rayfire recorder component. Uh, it allows you to record your dynamic simulation into animation clips, so uh, then you can uh, just play back all the animation instead of using uh, rigid bodies and colliders. Also you can uh, turn all this animated object back to simulation, I will show you later how to do this. So here my uh, object which I want to record. All of them should be uh, children of one uh, root. So in this case, this record root. Uh, I have this rock, which will be kinematic object, and a bunch of fragments. And, and I set them a slipping object. Uh, uh, instead of applying a rigid component to every fragment, I applied it to this empty root and set here mesh root. So this is how it looks like now. I will just uh, create some simple simulation something like this. So to use a refire recorder you need to select this uh, root and then apply refire recorder to it. And there are two modes, record and play. And this time I will set to record. And I will set record on start which means when I will start play mode it will start recording immediately. And next uh, property is clip name which will be created. Um, next uh, property is duration. It will create measures in seconds so I'm going to create five seconds of the simulation maybe maybe let's say eight seconds and rate means how many keys will be created um, for one second for every object so also I will uh, turn off this reduce keys so well basically now I can start play mode and uh, I will hit this column like this and if you will select here you can see it says here how many seconds it recorded so now it's finished so I can exit play mode now and here you can see it created this refire records uh, folder and uh, there are record root animation and record root controller so now I can select this record root and to see this animation uh, in the viewport I need to apply animator here I don't need to do this, but if you want to see it, uh, you need to apply it and uh, well, apply this controller here. So now I can go to animation, and here you can see uh, all my simulation was recorded for every object. It was recorded into this animation. So now I can select this uh, rock. I can turn off. I can basically I can delete. I don't need this uh, root component anymore, so I can remove it, remove it from here. And uh, now I go to the record root, and instead of, instead of setting record mode, I am setting it to play here. And here you can see also a bunch of playback properties. Uh, there is also play and start, but I will not use it now. And animation clip and controller uh, feel so. Here uh, you need to move this clips, this clip, and controller to proper uh, fields. So now I can start play mode, and here you can see there is start play. You you also can start uh, uh, playing animation using API uh, public method start play. So when I click on start play, it just play back all this animation. So I don't need to use physics anymore. I have all uh, simulation baked into the keys. And uh, another good thing is that I will, let me add back, create uh, this rigid component again. So I will again set it to kinematic here and uh, I will set kinematic for this route as well and I will set it to kinematic object uh, object type to mesh route and I will turn off demolition type because right now recorder doesn't support demolition runtime demolition but I will add such support in other builds for now it record only just uh, object which already exists in scene and it cannot create uh, create reco record animation for object which will be created during simulation so also I will unhide this my cube root, just a bunch of fragments. I will use this object also as a slipping fragments. So right now I have a bunch of fragments which will be simulated during, during uh, when I will start play mode. 
and another group which will use its uh, animation clip uh, for simulation. So I'll start play mode and now I can start play. And you can see how this column fragments, they just smash all these uh, box fragments. Uh, so right now they are just a kinematic object. You can move, you can uh, move them. They just smash everything on their way, and you can can't affect anyhow to them. So this is uh, how you can activate them. To do so, you need to go to this physics here, and using this activation properties, you can just hit here by collision, or you can use activator or anything else. We can um, in this case it will uh, every uh, kinematic column fragment will be turned back to dynamic object whenever it will collide with some other dynamic object. So now I will start play mode. And when I will start play, you'll see they turn back to this regular dynamic object. So in this way you can uh, record some of your animation and then at, mo at the moment you need to can turn them back to the simulation simulated object. So now, uh, just to show you how it works, uh, I will change material from the concrete to heavy metal. So uh, this time it will be much harder to move all these fragments. So you see completely different simulation. And if I will uh, turn off Activation by collision, and again, this, this in this case it will use its animation. Every kinematic object will just smash everything on its way, and you will not be able to move any of this fragment. So this is how it works uh, recorded component. Thank you for watching, and hope you like it.